Hey, I'm Michelle. I'm Corey. I'm Gabe. And we want to welcome you to Holland with the Holders. So today we're going to be giving you a review of our Forest River Salem Cruise Line, the 263 BHXL. We're uh, going to talk about some of the things that we like and we don't like. Uh, I'm going to go over this stuff on the outside and my wife's going to go over this stuff on the inside. We're kind of rushing because it's getting late, we're losing sunlight, and I'm getting eaten by, I don't know if they're gnats or mosquitoes or what they are. So, the outside's kind of simple. You've got your basic storage, your pass-through storage. It's bigger on this side than the other side. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it, it's a beanbag toss. It's a little bit bigger than that, and we got enough room to throw some chairs in on the front side. So it's kind of roomy. I've seen some that are bigger. For what it is, I like it. Uh, you, can act, you can get to it from inside under the bed too, which we never do because the bed's made up so nice. And uh, so that's that. That's your solar hookup for your uh, solar panels if you want to charge a battery. We've never done it, so I can't really tell you much about it. Um, so on the front side, you got your grill and your refrigerator. I love it, it's a little fridge. It's uh, actually, you know, but it's, a, it's kind of a mini fridge. It's not really something super huge. Um, your grill slides out. If you're wondering why this shirt is there, it's because the last time we went camping, I left grease from the bacon in there and it ran everywhere. Uh, so I've been, once it runs out, there is no stopping it. You gotta redo it. You gotta keep something in there to stop it from going. You know what I'm saying? You can't clean it up with it. Um, your outside hose hooks up to here. I don't really like that as much. Uh, to me, that's a con. I kind of like the showers that are built in, but this one you can plug in and go. Messed up within, I don't know, two weeks and started leaking. And this is your where you fill your fresh water tank. Easy fill. And this is where you drain it if you want to, you know, if you don't want it sitting in there. I like these stairs. Um, when they're good, they're good. When they're bad, they're bad. Uh, sometimes you have a hard time positioning them to where you can you can use them properly and you may have to stack stuff under the legs because they can only go out so far. You might right now they got a little bounce to them and we're going to have to do something to get that straight. But if you ever get them to where they're, they're lined up straight on the ground, they're far superior than the back stairs, which are, I think, a 300-pound capacity. Maybe something like that, and these are a little heavier, uh, and I could be off on that. Okay, and you can follow me inside. So what sold me on this camper was the windows. I know it's dark and you can't really see, but the views are amazing if you're somewhere that has good views and it lets so much light in that you hardly even have to use the regular lights in here during the day. Um, obviously we have a couch right here. It does make out to a bed for easy like access if you've got people coming and you've got extra people or whatever. And it's pretty easy to where just about anybody can do it. Um, then we have our dinette, which I absolutely love. Um, we've sat probably about six people here comfortably playing games and stuff. It's a big round dinette, it's enough room. Um, then we have our sink right here. It's a nice double sink with a really, really nice faucet. Great cabinet space for just about anything. Microwave. I bought this cutting board separately because I liked it better than the glass top. Then you have your stove, oven, and this is a pretty much full size fridge. We can fit just about anything in here. I love how it latches real easily. Um, it's got a lock for when you're driving down the road. It does Under not here. run on propane though. It is either battery or yes. shore power. Yes. Under here we have a lot of space under the sink where we keep trash, our cleaning supplies, and I like not having the trash can out in the open. Um, that way it's not stinky or you don't have to worry about looking at trash. Then you have your bunks over here. Um, we've got double bunks on both. My son hates the ladder. He said he prefers one that's slanted, but hey, it works. And both bunks have a USB port so you can charge your electronics. The top bunk has got the uh, air conditioning duct yes. and the bottom dutton. So whoever sleeps on the bottom tends to be a little hotter when uh, they shut their little curtain. Yes. That can, it's kind of like shutting it off. Okay. Then we have a nice size pantry. 
we just keep a little bit of everything in here. That's what we do. A lot of space for big, long trips. Then we have our bathroom. Um, nice size sink, toilet, um, small tub, but it's just the usual camper tub that you would come to find. Then you have actually on the mirror does come out to where you can store your toothbrushes, everything like that. Um, and it does have a latch over here on this side that keeps it from coming out and everything falling whenever you're driving down the road. And for a, for a height reference, I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna leave my clothes on. Uh, Thank goodness. I'm six one, and I've got enough room, but it is kind of as long as I'm under this little whatever that deal is. If I'm over here, it gets kind of tight. So if I'm on the skylight, I've got room. If I get out of the get out of that skylight zone, it is kind of tight. So if you're if you're kind of a taller human, it may not be as comfortable. As a bathhouse, and that's what I use most of the time when we go places. And then you can follow me to the bedroom. What about that heater? That sweet oh, heater? Oh, yes. I forgot about the heater. And, and that's where we keep a bunch of crap. Yeah. It is. Nice little fireplace. Um, and it puts out heat. So if you don't want to run your propane heater um, or waste your propane with your furnace, this puts out a good bit of heat so you can be comfortable. Okay, then the bedroom's this way. Nice size bedroom. It is a short queen, so it's not as long as I would like it, but I mean, it's a decent size for a camper, I guess. I do keep this little bin over here so we make this for uh, dirty clothes because we don't really have a chute or anything. It is kind of difficult getting around there unless you just jump over the bed and if you would like to have a nice smooth light with your dinner then enjoy these beautiful lights above the slide Six three B H B A H 